I'm joined now by former prisoner John Watts, who says the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme turned his life around. John, good to see you this morning. Thanks good for coming in. Uh, you've brought your certificates in with you. Yeah. You've got your silver, your gold, and your bronze, of course. Uh, but these are hugely significant for you, aren't they? Uh, tell us how they, they, they helped you change your life around. Well, as you said, I was in prison when I completed the awards. Uh, so I had no hope, felt so lost, no direction in life, didn't know where it was going. Um, but I got a career out of it, as well as, you know, I could write you a 10,000 page essay on how it changed my life. You were 18? 18, And you were yeah. sentenced to six and a half years yeah. for various reasons. That must have been quite a blow for someone so young to get six and a half years. Yeah, I mean, you kind of think your life's over. You think there's nothing else, you, you know, you're going to be able to do. So, yeah. And how does it work then if you are in prison in terms of Duke of Edinburgh Award? Do they approach you or did someone advise you to try it? And, and we think of Duke of Edinburgh Award sort of yomping up hills mm. and things. So yeah. how would that work to be part of it in prison? Uh, well, Reading Football Club came in and offered it to a small amount of prisoners. Yeah. Um, with regards to stomping up hills, we did have to improvise a little bit. So we yeah. were on the football pitch. It wasn't quite the same as the kids at school might be doing. Uh, but, you know, they they made it um, sort of available to us. And you worked out. So ex explain a little bit then. So, so you're 18, mm. you're in jail, yeah. you're suddenly looking at what, what, like, what opportunity am I going to have in my life. The opportunity to do the Duke of Edinburgh Award came along. What did you learn while you were doing that? And, and what, did, what skills did it give you then, that, John, that you were able to go and, and, and find a career and yeah. create a life? Uh, well, I learned how to cook, which was the main thing. That's the main thing I've taken from it, because 10 years later now, uh, that's what I do for my career. I've got my own business. Um, and I've just had amazing experiences. I've worked with Jamie Oliver, Raymond Blanc, uh, some other, you know, really inspirational chefs. And I've just found a passion, you know, like now, mm. I, d I didn't know what I wanted to do before. I wasn't passionate about anything. And now, you know, you know, the world's my oyster. Huh. And yeah. Prince Philip, who yeah. is the spearhead of this, yeah. has been hugely influential. I mean, albeit from quite a long way away, yeah. hugely influential in life. When you got your gold and when you get all of them, you get awarded, did you actually meet the man himself? Yeah, I've met him twice, uh, which is, you know, to meet, to meet a guy like him, I mean, I, I learned a lot about him when I was doing my award, and he's just a remarkable character. So to meet him in real life is just, you know, surreal. And Why uh, would you say remarkable? Give us a flavour, because you've got a different perspective, perhaps, than many of us. Why, well, I why think is he remarkable? Just, you know, his background. Mm. Uh, his ad he didn't exactly have the easiest life, especially in his early years. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, just the things he's gone on to do, and then to give you know, the award mm. back to young people across the world is just incredible. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, it's fantastic that you come and share your story. You're a great ambassador for the Duke of Edinburgh scheme because it, undoubtedly it's, it's changed your life. You say it saved your life, really, don't you? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and, uh, I don't know where I'd be without... Without you need to it. create a signature dish in his honour and call yeah. it the Prince Philip or yeah, something. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Tom, thanks so much for coming in and sharing your story this morning.